Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. edition, Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn how to download and install the year-end payroll solutions update. After completing this Anytime Learning lesson, you will be able to locate and install the payroll solutions update for year-end, and you will also be able to install any payroll solutions update released during the year. This lesson focuses on the year-end payroll solutions update, but this process can be applied to any payroll solutions update during a given year. Each year, around mid-December, Sage 50 releases a payroll solutions update for the upcoming payroll year. In addition to providing new federal, state, and some local tax formulas for the new payroll year, the year-end payroll solutions update may include late changes to current year tax formulas and processing changes for year-end tax reporting. You should install the January update before processing any tax forms for year-end. To verify which payroll solutions update you have installed, you can find a date on the About Sage 50 accounting window. To do this, select Help from the main menu bar and then About Sage 50 Accounting. On the About Sage 50 Accounting window, you want to check the installed tax service. The value in the installed tax service field is actually a date, and this date is formatted with the first four characters for the year, followed by two characters for the month, and two for the day. The year-end tax update will display the four characters of the upcoming year, plus 01 for January and 01 for the day. And because some states are unable to submit their final changes in time, there can be a second year-end tax update released around mid-January of the new year. It shows the four-character new year plus 01 for January and 02 representing the second version of the update. Let's continue with the process as if the January update is not installed yet. To download the latest tax service update, click Services from the main menu bar, and then select Check for Updates. When the online update window displays, if the January Payroll Solutions update is available, leave it selected and click Download. The download is quick. Click OK when the download completes and exit Sage 50. Click Yes on the prompt to begin the installation. And the update installation begins. The Payroll Solutions Update Wizard will guide you through installing the update on your system. You must agree here to continue. As you step through the wizard, it is recommended that you accept all default settings and click Next on each one. Click Install. On the Installation Complete page, you can view release notes about the new update if you have this box checked. Click Finish. And the release notes will display. When you're finished, reopen the program, and first, let's confirm that the update installed successfully. Click Help at the top of the program, and then About Sage 50 Accounting. On the About Sage 50 Accounting window, confirm that the installed tax service date has been updated to January of the upcoming year or later. This process also works for installing tax updates during the year. When there is a large volume of tax table changes, Interim Payroll Solutions updates may be released to coincide with quarterly filings in addition to the year-end update. This concludes our look at installing the current Payroll Solutions update in Sage 50 Accounting. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning lesson. For information on additional training options, please visit us at sageu.com.